loud. Audrey can do it. Okay, cool. We're recording now. All right. Let me zoom in. Oh, Michaela, that was nice. I um, like that. What's that thing? What? Very nice. What is? Very nice. <clears throat> what are you talking about, Stacy? Uh, Michaela, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, is showing a great drawing of a girl. She's holding a sword. Hold on, I'm looking at it more closely. No, wait, wait, wait. What is she holding, Michaela? Okay. No, on a Sorry, y'all, I'm on a grid view. I love it. And Eric is showing, oh my gosh, Eric, that city and that sailboat. Wow. <laughs> I'm on my dad's account. My name is Spencer. I'm sorry. Tell me your name again. All right. What Spencer. Thank you, Spencer. Sorry Spencer. about that. What's up, Spencer? Spencer. Hey, good morning, everybody. That's great. Um, so some of you, some of you new people, um, we oftentimes will show drawings that we did throughout the week in, nice. you know, in the beginning of class. <clears throat> so all you new people, there's, um, there's only two rules. Um, the rules are that you can't hurt anybody else's feelings on purpose. And whatever art you're making, um, if you're inspired to add to it um, and make it better, um, please do that. So we're gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna teach you how to draw and I'm gonna teach you kind of like some of the basics um, but if it, if you get interest, if you like have an idea that you want to like improve on the drawing, um, you have to maintain artistic independence. So that's all I'm asking is uh, just try to be um, and aware of your feelings, and then also um, <clears throat> whatever whatever you feel like you need to sketch, sketch it. All right, let's try this. Hey, Stacy, can you hear me all right? Yes, I can. And a uh, quick shout out. Thank you so much, Kate. Yes, I can hear you just fine. Okay, great. Well, those are nice drawings, guys. Thank you so much. Um, all right, so the, we also start off with like usually a warm up, and I'm in a new location today. I'm over in um, Virginia this morning, and I'm trying to get <clears throat> the perfect setup for my drawings. And then we're gonna draw a house in the woods. Ow, 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 ow. And then I think we're gonna draw. Um, we're also gonna draw a lion, that's the plan. Um, all right, so here's this bird that I found in this book. The, the, the apartment that we're in is called the birdhouse. And all of the art and the decor is a uh, Excuse me, bird. Yeah. Trevor, I think there's a quest, I question. I think there's a question. Uh, yeah, what's up? Um, what are we supposed to use for the paper? Oh, it's a great idea. Um, great question, actually. Um, anything, <clears throat> anything that takes pencil. So we usually draw with, um, you know, pencils and colored pencils and maybe maybe markers, but really it's just colored pencils and graphite. Um, I actually have a pen this morning for the warm up. <clears throat> so you can draw with whatever you want, but for the paper, I don't know. I mean, do you have like a notebook? Do you have extra? Um, do you have like drawing paper or sketch paper? Yeah. All right, yes. let's get this let's get this fired up so um this bird i don't know if you can see this but there's a couple different versions of the bird i decided to do like the happiest version of the bird um out of this group and i'm gonna break the bird down into a couple different parts so kind of stick with me um i usually when i'm sketching birds <clears throat> if they're real birds or cartoon birds i'll start with the head so i'm gonna first start with a circle for the head let me make sure I don't leave anybody out in the cold. Sometimes everybody, um, if you come in late, I have to like let other people in. So if you come in a little bit late, I may have to pause for a second. Um, okay, here we go. So we got this circle for the bird's head. Now the whole bird, we know it's not like a circle. There's like lots of different, there's lots of little tick marks and like little feathers and everything, but we have to start somewhere. Um, and then I'm gonna go from the circle from the head and then I'm gonna kind of transition into the neck. The thing about birds' necks is that they're, they're, they're usually covered with a lot of feathers. So with humans, our heads are big and our shoulders are big, and then the neck is narrow. Um, but with the bird, it's the same situation. Like the head is big, the body's big, 
and the neck is narrow, except they have so many feathers. So it's like really wide. And then I'm gonna do an egg shape for the body. Now you have to like look through the wings a little bit. And I don't know if you can see this, but the, there's a little tip of the tail down at the bottom corner. And that's what makes me know that the egg is turned sideways. All right, so we've got a circle for the head. Um, we've got this like these kind of like a, a short wide neck leading into an egg. Now it doesn't look like a bird at all. So we have to like, try to make it look like a bird pretty soon. Um, and not with all animals, but like birds, oftentimes it's best to start with the beak because the beak is a triangle in most situations. And what the, the top of the beak does um, is that it tells you where the middle of the head is. So this guy's head is turned to the side. Um, so we're seeing actually more of the left side of his head. In fact, look at back there. Like you can actually see the, the feathers towards the back of the head on that side. So I don't usually, I usually do the eyes next. So let's do the eyes. <clears throat> A little trick that artists use to make things look closer or further away is that if the eye is tilted towards, towards you, they make that eye bigger. And in this case, because it's a cartoon, they made the eye like really big. So the eye that's towards us, which is kind of in the middle, is big. And then the eye to the right is not even a circle. It's more like an oval. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now we've got something that looks like a very like robotic bird. And you, this is the point where you think to yourself, this might be the worst drawing I've ever done in my entire life. And you just have to be like, I'm going to keep going and it's probably going to get better. Nine times out of 10, it gets better. <clears throat> okay, so let's make, let's try to get the eyes under control. I'm going to angle the, the, the eyebrow. There's an upper eyebrow and then a circle for the pupil. Oh no, he looks sad. Why does my guy look sad? Okay, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. So there's another <laughs> eyelid, there's another angle. I think, I think I'm going to make him smile and that will change the mood. I'm guessing it will change the mood. So I'm doing a little, just a line at the top of that circle for the eyebrows. And it's actually not the eyebrows, it's technically the eyelid. He looks so sad. He, I know. he, he really so, does. I, thought, <laughs> I know, but he doesn't, have, he doesn't have a lower mouth and the lower mouth is where he's gonna smile. So watch, I'm gonna turn this guy from happy into sad in one second. All right, so I got the, the upper eyelid. You mean from sad uh, to happy? Yes, that's what he meant. <laughs> All right, so here's the little, is that what I said? I meant, I meant from sad to happy. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that you can do, if I draw a smiley face over here, the thing that makes the thing look happy, it's the, it's the mouth. And the mouth curving up makes the happy face. So even if the eyes look sad because the brow is angled, we can still make it happy. So let me do this lower mouth and I'm gonna use a happy face for that lower mouth and then I'm gonna give it the lower part of the beak. Does he look a little bit happier? Not really. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate the honesty, everybody. Um, all right, then what if I make the upper beak a little curved, lower beak? I got to make this guy happy. So I'm going to put the corner of the mouth. There you go. He's getting a little bit better. Yeah, those are looking good. These are looking good. They're working. Um, okay. Um, there's a little tongue in there too. Do you see that? So I'm not going to draw the tongue actually, but I am going to draw this little triangle in the corner of the mouth, which shows like the deep, like the, the like it, you can see down like in his mouth. So there's a little triangle in the corner of the mouth. And what's left over is going to be the tongue. All right, so I've got eyes, mm -hmm. eyelids, beak. Um, birds don't necessarily have noses, but they have nostril holes. So I'm going to put the little nostril hole in there. And remember, this is just a warm up. We're going to be drawing lots of stuff today. This is just because, I mean, maybe some of you have been drawing all day, but um, this is the first drawing I've made today. Um, okay, should we do the wings next or should we do the feet next? Feet. Feet next. Here we go. Um, all right. So we're going to do an oval for where the, um, like the fur part of the legs comes off the body. And it's towards the bottom of our circle, of course. And then <clears throat> from here on out, there's no feathers on the legs. So it's almost like 
um, you know, the, the, if the birds have like um, really coarse skin, they're, it's almost like scales, they're almost like snake scales. Either way, there's no feathers. So I'm gonna break this whole foot down into a bunch of rectangles and try to follow me here. So I did this oval for where the feathers are on the leg. Now I'm gonna do a rectangle from this ankle to the ball of the foot. I'm making mine a little bit longer, so I'm okay with that. Then I'm gonna get three fingers in the front and one, three toes in the front and one toe in the back. It's almost like, um, you know, like our four fingers and then a thumb in the back. So let's do the one in the middle. So first rectangle, and then there's gonna be two rectangles on the side. One on the side, two on the side, two rectangles. He's got huge feet right now. So please don't, uh, please don't make fun of me too much. And then we'll do one thumb toe in the back. <clears throat> so those are the rectangles. Um, in order to make them look like talons, we're gonna give them little rounded fingertips and fingernails, which are really like, like miniature talons. So watch what I do here and make it round and then do a fingernail. Round bottom, almost like a thumbprint and then a fingernail. Round thumbprint and then a hooked fingernail. Whoa. Um, and honestly, if you draw yours closer to, the, to like what you're looking at, that's better. I just, I just made a, a bird with the biggest feet in the history of birds. <laughs> um, all right, so the nice thing about, um, ooh, these are looking good, guys. I saw that. I don't know who that is up there. Hmm. I can't tell. I can't tell some of the new people's names, but I will figure this out eventually. Um, whatever nice, you do, nice. Whatever you do on one side, do it on the other, but it's going to be a little bit different. That is really good. So the the yes. the, the, the boy that who just did the the, bear, the bird with the bent leg, um, it looked really nice. So you're going to look for all the same stuff on one side and do it on the other, and you're going to see how it's going to be a little bit different. So on the other side, <clears throat> this is actually the right side leg. I'm going to do an oval, and the start of that oval is going to be where the um, feathers are. And then I'm gonna go one rectangle from the, really it's like the heel to the ball of the foot. So the length, the length of the leg that does not have feathers. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna do one, two, three in the front and, and then one in the back. So one rectangle, two rectangles, three rectangles, and then one in the back. And the, the, it's hard to tell which one is in the back because they all the all of them are the, look really similar. So we'll do a rounded tip and a toenail, rounded tip and a toenail. Hmm. That leg looks like it goes all the way back. Right. Rounded tip and the toenail because that angles back. And then this one will be, I guess it still goes to the side. It might overlap a little bit, that's okay. Um, <clears throat> sometimes when you make drawings and I don't know if everybody has any color pencils, I don't have color pencils today which is driving me nuts. But if you guys are moving faster than me, um, you, can, you can always like color these legs in. Like the, <clears throat> the legs are yellow, the, the, um, his little, the, the chest is orange, the beak is yellow, and then the rest of the bird is basically blue. Oh man, this is gonna be awesome. All right, let's try these wings. <clears throat> and I think we should do the left wing first, and then we'll do the backside wing because we see more of the wing on, the, on this side. So I'm going to make the wing in two parts. One part is going to be a triangle. It almost looks like a shark fin to me. So let me, like, this is like, you know, like the, a shark fin in the water. Like, so I'm going to do a shark fin on this side. <clears throat> and that's going to be the part that's got some feathers. So I'm going to use a little, like a little curving moment to describe the feathers on that. That's kind of the muscular part of the wing. Um, and it looks kind of cute. It looks like a little bit like a baby chick with the wing being this size. Mm -hmm. But believe it or not, this is a, is a full grown bluebird. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a series of um, feathers that are going to be big at the top and they're going to get small as they go. If you, I mean, some people are really good at drawing feathers. Um, we actually just drew one um, in class the other day. They have like kind of a center line. But 
these feathers, they remind me of like, like knives. So imagine if you look at a knife or almost like a really skinny, um, a really skinny shark fin. Um, it's going to be like a straight edge and then a curved rectangle. So a sharp edge, you know, it really, I think it looks like a knife blade. I mean, like a butter knife or just even like a sharp kitchen knife. But the, the key is, is that the ones at the end are going to be really big. And then as they get closer to the body, they get smaller. These are looking good. So I, honestly, this drawing is taking us longer than I thought it was going to. It's only quarter after, so it's still a good warm up. Yeah, these are on point. Nice. Um, I'm, look, I'm looking at some of the drawings and what you guys have able to achieve is like this fan. A couple of the sketches have like this, a rig, like a big open fan. And that's kind of what it is. I mean, they do like condense and get really small when like the, the wings are tucked in and then they fan out like, and then they catch all the air. And that's why they're able to fly. I mean, they're light but like they catch the air resistance with like the fanning out of those feathers and the surface area of those feathers. Okay, that was enough explanation on that. Um, let me just draw my first, um, my first knife blade so that I feel comfortable. If you can draw one, you can draw all of them. So maybe take extra time to draw the first one, um, you know, make it, make it the best one or maybe a little extra effort. Okay. There's my first one. And then I know at the bottom, it's gonna, there's gonna be, a, it's gonna finish with this little teeny guy down here. So these little teeny ones. So I know that the, the progression is gonna be somewhere in between there. All right, here we go. Knife tip, come in and attach. Knife tip, round it in and attach. Knife tip, round in and attach. And it's gonna be a little bit smaller. I'm gonna make this one even smaller, even smaller. And I have done it. Um, one of the things that I drew up here in this corner, the way feathers are, you know, actually go in nature is that they have, they, they have a center vein, like a structure beam. And then they have smaller, really light, like furrows that come off of it like this. Now there's not all that detail in um, this bird, but there's a little suggestion of the middle of the wing. I don't know if you can see that, like the illustrator, puts this little tick mark in the middle of each wing as if, you know, because the art illustrator has studied birds. It's not like he hasn't drawn birds realistically before. I mean, he's made it into a cartoon. It's really cute. And it's like, you know, prancing around and smiling and stuff. But like, he knows how to draw real birds too. He just makes them a little bit, um, you know, more casual. Okay, so I'm gonna just draw these little ticks in the middle, these little straight lines in the middle of each one of my wings. And I'll just say that that, yeah, that's it. And I guess it's not in, in really in all of them, but it's in most of them. All right, I have to, I have to erase my, um, my little knife blade on that side. So let's do it. We don't see any, oh, we, no. I was gonna say his neck over here. I thought maybe that was the wing. It's actually not. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Unfortunately, we don't see any of the, the, um, the shark fin, but that's okay. We don't, it's almost like we have to do less work then. All right, so here's my knife blade. So this one here is the same as this one here. So I'm just gonna draw like a little arrow connecting them. And then the second one, is gonna be there. And then it's all fanned out. Knife blade, rotate in. Knife blade, rotate in. I guess they gotta be a little more pointy. Because of the line that you drew in between both of the wings, it looks yeah. like that the bird is like flying like away from like a sunrise or something. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yes. So this is what I was talking about exactly. before. Um, these drawings will inspire you to have like really good fresh ideas and they come out of nowhere. Like I did not mean that, but I... I love that idea so much. And you can actually make, like I can make a sun right now coming out of here. And you guys could make a sun any way you want. I mean, I don't know, maybe I didn't make a very nice sun. <clears throat> yeah, did I ruin it? <laughs> I might have ruined it, it's okay. Anyway, I love that idea. I mean, I just absolutely love it. And yeah, I could put clouds on this side, I could put clouds on that side. Um, the last thing we have to do, oh, these look good. But by the um, bird's expression, it looks like he's trying to land, but he's like just been hatched out of his egg and he doesn't know how to land. Let me, um, who's holding it up right now? What's your name? 
I can't tell on the uh, feed with the glasses. Yeah, you. I'm Luke. Sorry, I'm using like my mom's computer, so it looks. No like worries, dude. Luke, good to meet you. I'm Trevor. You guys can call me Trevor. You guys can you know talk the whole time. Um, those, that's awesome. You got you. We're we're in business. The last thing we have to do is um like what I would call like actually the last object we have to do is the tail, and. Um, nice, gonna, Spencer. That's a little thing down here. These are good. These are great. Oh, look how little he is. He's part of your composition. I love it. Um, the tail by itself Eric? Almost, almost looks like a piece of pizza, meaning it's got a narrow inside and then it fans out like kind of symmetrically. So that's how I'm drawing it down here. Um, you know, and these will obviously have like little wing, you know, um, feather tips or whatever. But at the bottom, we can come down, we can see the little. His little um his little tail and his little brown tail and then you can add these feathers to the back and it's hard to kind of make them look like they're fanning out and i'm running out of room on my paper so i'm going to give them almost like an extra small tail those tail feathers don't look pointy they look rectangular look at that yeah so they're they're flat yeah mm -hmm. okay so that's good so the tail feathers are going to be distinctly different than the wingtip feathers, which you know makes sense. I got thrown off because the way that he drew the first one made it look like it had tips on it. <clears throat> okay, radical. These look great. Um, one of the things you can do if he's on the ground, you see the um, the way that the artist like toned the ground right here. Um, if he didn't add this path, I'll let me just like zoom out for a second so you can see all the other birds. The other birds are like attached to this like path and some of them are clearly standing. Oh, look at him. He's so, he starts from a little baby bird and he's like you know, <laughs> stronger, stronger, stronger. And now he looks like he's about to fly. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I love those stages. Um, so the bird is, is actually on the ground. He's about to take off, it looks like. So one of the ways you can make it, things look like they're on the ground is adding a little bit of tone. And so if you just shaded the ground a little bit, it won't look like he's flying. Now, if you want him to look like he's flying, don't shade the ground. You know, just make, you put, you can put clouds around them. So I kind of have both going. <laughs> I have them on the ground with a setting sun. All right, yes, question. The feather that you made, it kind of looks like a tree and then the cloud is a bush. And the tree. Yes, it does. It looks so much like that. And is your name actually Eric? No, it's Spencer. Okay, Spencer. Spencer. Right. Good to meet you. Yeah. No, no worries. No worries. Good to see you. Um, let me see if anybody else is. I'm trying to see if anybody's holding their pick. Um, oh, very pick. nice, Michaela. I like that you used color. I know. I, like I can't little believe. Yellow belly. I can't believe I didn't bring my. Um, Spencer. Oh, right. So this is so um, happy. Oh, these are so good. That these one is good. Really sweet. Up now, he's like, his eyes look kooky. This, this is great. Yeah. Jacob. These are bad guys. These colors um, are beautiful. Sweetie, who's is that watercolor, um, Jacob? What? Are you using watercolor? No. Okay, it ha it has a little bit of a watercolor feel. It's really pretty, very nice. These are great. Thank you for showing yeah, everyone. These are great. Who's got the, who's got the butterfly shirt with the pigtails? Oh, Madeline. <laughs> yeah, you. you. What's your name? Oh, uh, Madeline. Nice up in the clouds. Um. Very sweet. Is it is it Ruby? Okay, nice Ruby. Good to see you. Good to meet you. Good morning, everybody. I'm gonna try. Ooh, Buffalo Bills fans, we love the Bills. Um, all right. So this is the two minute warning. Um, this is where you can put it. Yeah, that's yeah. My my dad is like the biggest Bills fan ever. I mean, I like the Ravens too, but uh, I'm a, we're we're big Buffalo Bills fans in my house. Um, let's do the, what I call drawing the drawing. So you can take two minutes. If you want to put it in a background, you can. If you want to put it in a rectangle, you can. I'm going to try and detail some of like the feathers. Um, you can see that like um, his, the wing muscles um, on his chest, you know, he's got a little, like a little line defining those muscles. So you can like maybe color in the beak 
uh, yeah, did anybody have a question? But just, I'm just saying two minute warning. We're gonna switch, we're gonna go to something else in two minutes. <clears throat> Let me make sure though nobody's out in the cold. Okay, no, good, everybody's here. Except for um, George, George isn't here. We're doing, I think we're, we're gonna sketch a line today. So maybe I'll wait on the line with George next week. Mm. Okay, um, this is the other thing. I didn't mention it before, but because I wasn't at that stage of the drawing, but when you, when you draw that, when we draw that first circle and we drew the first oval for the body, those are called construction lines. So those lines you need to have to be able to like add the wings and add the feet and everything. And even like some of the rectangles um, in the feet, they are, you know, they, they can be erased, you know, so the original lines can be erased and then you either replace them with lines that look like feathers or just don't put them back in. If they're not in the, if they're not in your final drawing, you don't have to include them. Um, I am adding some eyelashes on my bird because like, because I, I wasn't really happy with my eyelids. I'm going to try and make them better with eyelashes. And I feel like the eyelashes might make it look a little happier too. Okay, yeah. So my wig is going to be off the whole time because I'm using my computer that's on Zoom to draw. Hey, um, can you pause it and show it or no? Or you just have to email me? I guess you're probably just have to email me. I can show it at the end of class. Okay. Great. Um, I look forward to it. Um, the other, the last thing, and I, I hate to keep doing this because I think I might be going over two minutes. But if you want to make a rect like a, a rectangle look like a cylinder, let me just draw it over here. I mean, I can do it with my actual things, but I'll draw a larger version. So if you start with a rectangle, if you give these what are called what I call bracelet lines, which are just little curves, little curves running this way, um, that makes what is a rectangle or a square, it looks um, more like a cylinder. And the legs and the, and the feet and the fingers are more cylindrical. That is like epic sunrise bird magnificence. Please, everybody, if you can please email, have your parents email the school, photograph these and send them. Um, I like to post them up on the uh, you know on our website or whatever. And as a teacher, it's way easier to see them in when they're photographed than through like the little square on the Zoom. Yeah, is that Eric up there with the glasses? Spencer. Eric. Yeah. Who's got Spencer. the glasses up there? Yeah. Yeah, Spencer. That's Aaron. Aaron. Oh, Aaron, Blue. is that your name? Can yeah, you hold that up a little, little higher, higher, Aaron? My name's not Aaron. Thank you. Is, that, is Aaron. that your name, it's Aaron? Spencer, right? No, my, my, no, my name is Luke. Um, Luke. My, Luke. my yeah. mom's name is Luke. Aaron. That's what I'm trying, I'm trying okay. to say. Okay. Thank you, Luke. Nice. So nice. Yeah, Whoever Elliot is, they should probably stop writing on the picture thingy. I know. I don't. I don't mind if you guys annotate. It's just just make it relevant. All right. This really is third. This really is thirty seconds on the uh, on the bird, and then we'll switch over. I'm gonna put in these toes. <laughs> More. Toes, 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 toes. Okay, this is really great, guys. Thank you for um, taking what was just a little bird and making them into like something really special. Yeah, Luke, that's fantastic, man. I'm loving it. Oh, wow, that took loving a it. it took a half. We spent a half hour on that thing. Well, I don't know. I was going to do this house, but after this, it's like not very exciting. Um, do, can we, do, would, would anybody mind doing a uh, 3D birdhouse? Yeah, let's do a 3D oh, birdhouse. Oh, that sounds great. We're going like to we're, we're gonna do, we're gonna do the best of both worlds here. Um, we're going to do, we're going to draw a house, it's a bird but it's, it's going it's to be a birdhouse. 
Can we make it on a tree? Okay, here we go. This one, I've been wanting to draw one of these for a while. Well, yeah, we can make it in a tree. Um, wow, this is gonna be really cool. Okay, we'll see how this goes. So there's a couple different versions of this thing. I think I'm gonna choose the best one. I think my thing got bumped. Move this here, move that there. <clears throat> All right, so this should be plenty of work um, for us to do. We'll bump it this way. All right, this is the other tricky thing, and I don't know, I think I'm going to move it. Okay. So in the picture, the birdhouse is actually tilted. So you see how the house in the background is like uh, like a crooked on a hill? That's, we're gonna move this down, move that up. Okay, you guys ready for this? I recommend, this is um, this is, like, is gonna be a little hard, but if we go step by step, it's gonna look great. It's gonna look fantastic. And um, and I'll just, I'll just start with the first line. <clears throat> And the first line is going to be where the the house, the foundation that the house is built on. So this is the top of the piece of wood. So see how there's like a piece of wood that the bird house is attached to, and that piece of wood is attached to a pole. Now you can add this birdhouse into the trees if you want, um, but we have to get the piece of wood that the um, bird house is resting on, and it's just going to be a straight line across. If you can make like a straight line across, that's the first thing that we have to do. And then we're going to make the um, that plank of wood is in two parts. So there's a left side and then there's a right side. And the artist, you know, makes it look kind of like wood Kind of looks at like old wood, a little rustic. You know, the lines are, you know, the lines aren't like perfectly straight. And that's what's kind of nice. This, this is like, in fact, an old kind of birdhouse. Um, <clears throat> So let's do first things first. We just draw where, let's draw the, the, the side where the, um, like the birds go in and out. So I'm gonna first draw, and actually I'll do this, I'll do like a quick short example. What it's gonna be is that there's gonna be a rectangle and then we're gonna add a triangle on top. And then there's gonna be a circle in the middle and then there's going to be a little um, rectangle or like it turns into an oval where the birds like sit. And then the roof is going to come off the side and then need like the side of the house. So this is kind of like the, the everybody's first kind of like how to draw a house. The way that you start is by getting a rectangle for, you know, the front of the wall. And then we're going to add a triangle roof to it. Now, the tricky thing is, is that the front of the rectangle is the same piece of wood as the triangle on top. Okay, so let, let me just go back. I just wanted to like point that out. You weren't supposed to be drawing that. So let's draw the front rectangle. Wait, we weren't supposed to be drawing that? I did. That's okay. That's okay. I mean, I mean it's, you, can, you can either do another one or you can like, I mean, you. I was going like super duper fast. I should have mentioned that you're not supposed to draw, but I was just going so fast. Um, the, um, when you draw houses too, um, all the walls are straight. So at, whenever you have a, a line that goes up and down, it's going to be you know always up and down. Try not to tilt it one way. Try not to tilt it the other way. Unless it's like on a hill and the whole entire house is tilted, because exactly so we want we want this birdhouse to be like straighter. So we're going to do a wall on this side. We're going to do a wall on that side. And then here we go. We're going to go up with our triangle. <clears throat> we'll do a triangle on this side too. A side of a triangle. Um, this roof is really nice. Um, the piece of wood like overhangs. Um, roofs, because they protect the house from water, the, they, the roof always hangs out further, like over top of the... Um, of the walls. So when water comes down, it doesn't like go onto the walls itself. Um, the details. Let's do the side of the house back here. And then we can add a roof. 
by going, you know, pulling the lines back. And then this is the front of the roof. This is the back of the roof. <clears throat> the front of the roof angle is the same as the back of the roof angle. And then we have to draw the part of the roof that overhangs on that side. So right now, all we're using is like regular lines. Um, we haven't added any thicknesses. So we're gonna have to make a thick, we're gonna make the roof a little bit thicker and then we can make the, um, I guess we can draw the details. There's like nails in there. And then you can see the two pieces of wood on the left side. And then there's all kinds of details where the, um, the wood is, um, you know, it's like old, you know, so it's got like grains in the wood. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Um, all right, let's do the middle of the, um, let's do like the birdhouse door. It's like a hobbit door. So most of the time you're gonna wanna draw a circle, um, but this time I want you to make, a, make an oval that's like taller than it is wide, because it's kind of seen from the side. So we'll do an oval. And that oval is the outside rim. And because the wood is so thick, we're gonna draw a little inside thickness. And then we wanna draw the inside of the house. And by drawing the inside of the house, we're just shading a hole. So I drew an oval, then I drew the inside lip, which is basically like the thickness of the wood. I can actually draw that line right here. I would put nails in there, little circles for the nails. <clears throat> the birds, when they go outside, the birds uh, that we're drawing here are actually sitting on top of the house. But a lot of times they're going to be sitting on this little root, this little um, peg. It's like a wooden peg. And that starts off as a rectangle. And you add a circle to the side of that and you make it look like a cylinder. And remember when we were drawing the, the, the toes of the bird, you can add those little bracelet lines to make the uh, make it look like a don't be afraid to erase. Sometimes you make the marks in the wrong place. They make them too dark or something. You can always erase it, especially if you're using pencil. Color pencils are harder to erase, but you still can do it. Oh man, that's amazing. Okay, so I hadn't seen this before, but because of the hole, I just defined how thick the wood is. So there's gonna be, uh, Luke, I saw that, it was good. Um, look at the side here. The, the, the piece of wood shows a thickness on the outside. That's cool. Okay, so we have the, the thickness of the wood inside the hole, but we also have the thickness of the wood on the side of the house. And we see it on the other side too. So the back of the wood, the back of the house has uh, thickness on it too. <laughs> Um, what else do we have? Okay, yeah. I'm going to, so we used a, like a single line triangle for the roof and we made it come out. Let's make a thickness for that roof. So I'm just gonna basically draw the same thing again, but I'm gonna repeat the line and make it thicker. Um, the underside of the roof is in shadow, so I can shade that. And then I don't know if you noticed this, but the roof just got bigger. So if I, I almost need a new line for the top of the roof. And we're not gonna see much of the roof because the birds are sitting on it. And hopefully we have time to draw the, uh, the birds too. So I did, and my, my roof is so thick. Goodness gracious. It's okay. So we have side of the roof. So we've got the bottom line 
for the roof, and then we have the thickness of that line. Yeah, and I like that where where you just drew the underside to the right of the um, entrance to the birdhouse, it really shows that it's the underside of that roof just by darkening that. Yeah, um, Luke, the um, the front, and I, you can't really change it now, but I think that might be the case. I'm seeing the same thing with Braden. If you look at the um, the angle of the front of the roof here, the back of the roof is gonna be almost the same. Not exactly the same, but it's the back of the roof isn't straight up. It's like, like the roof top here, I can draw some of the grains of the wood there. Man, that's crazy. Um, okay, the one thing I was gonna say is that this thing is in a, it's, it's like on a post. So we can draw the post in the middle and that's just gonna be a rectangle. Excuse me. Mm hmm Question? And if any point yeah. Um Mr. Tris, so um I'm Brooks and somehow every time I join the Zoom meeting join a Zoom meeting, it autom it automatically turns me to braid a message. And that's your brother. I know. Um, Sorry about that. Just confused. Um, I won't. I won't. I won't get that wrong again. Excuse me. I know. Um, but yes. I what I think. Me and everybody. So, um, do you have like a couple little like, if you like tap on your thing, if you like right right click your name, you should have these like little dots, and if you click those little dots, you should be able to change your name. It says I your already name. changed it. Already got it? Yeah, Brooks, you got it. Good job. <clears throat> Does anybody see anything Thanks that I'm missing? Thanks for your help, Luke. Other than the birds? I'm trying to think. Should we go into the back? Should we go into the background? Should we go into the birds or the background? Um, oh, actually, look at that. I just, I put in my, I put in my post because it's like sitting on the post. And I think you can see a little bit of the bottom of the wood. Yeah. So I don't it's mm -hmm. almost like the attachment of the post the and the lines of the post are pretty thick so i'm going to put in show the little bit of the bottom oh yeah so you can see that the you know the grain in the wood i don't know if you've ever tried to draw like wood um you know it looks you can kind of like see like the some are like cracks in the wood and others i'd like drew this one like there was a knot in the wood i'm trying to make it look more authentically rustic <clears throat> there's look at the birds in the background that's cool there this is like the classic you know far distant mm -hmm. bird where you just like you do these two little two little arches show birds way off in the distance um should we try to draw the bird family no Luke, i i want to try to draw like the uh background i think that looks like nice like, okay Flowery trees. Yeah. The background, Luke? Let me, um, let me zoom out. I'm going to zoom out because there's more, there's like way, way more background in here than, than, I'm, sh than I'm showing. <laughs> I think it's a great idea. And if for some but reason we don't get to the birds today, you already have some familiarity with yeah, the like, bird. So you can finish that at home on your own if you like. Um, I really want to try, I really want to sketch the lion. So let's do a, um, oh. let's do like, we're going to do, yeah, I really want to do the lion. So we'll, um, there's four more minutes. Let's try to make this as best you we can. Wow. These are all awesome. All right, so at, at 10.50, we'll switch over and do the lion. This is good. Um, you can also add some colors or add some shading. I'm actually looking at the, uh, the house now, and the rooftop has like some gray tones in it. You know, you could put some clouds in the sky, maybe even like another sun. 
you know, if you if we've got like this sun theme going, and then you know, there's like some some trees. Looks like there's a hill in the background. There's some pine trees on it. We got three more minutes, so try not to do too much. Um, the artist has like some like an indication of the trees by doing like some squiggles so there's like tree branches this is very i'm just like going really fast here but so is the artist i mean if you look at the artist he really in, he really put in a lot of effort in doing the birdhouse and yet the trees you know it looks like he sketched them really fast because they're really far off in the distance i like i like how he did the uh, pine trees though Mm -hmm. I might add more pine trees. Look at this pine tree over here. It's like the big one. Let's do a big one over here. A little pine forest way off in the distance. I might add one bird. Oh, all right. Oval, <laughs> circle, oval, little tail. You got these little toes. It has a triangular beak, circular eyes. Eyelids. The way, you don't even have to worry about the wings. And there's his. <laughs> I added one. Oh, is that cute? I just did a I just did a review <laughs> of the very first one, and it's so small. When you draw small, you can draw fast. Oh man, should I try another one? I got two minutes. Oh my gosh. Okay. You have two minutes, and can that little bird get a mohawk? That's a Love request. It. Love it. I appreciate yeah. that. You're welcome, Stacey. <laughs> Stacey, anything for you. Any oh, I so appreciate it. Any it's a cardinal. Request you have. It's a what? It's a cardinal. Aha. Uh -huh. It went from a blue jay to a cardinal, or a bluebird to a cardinal. So triangle beak, circle eyes, eyelid, top of the head, and then neck transitioning into the oval body and then these little curving toes now i know that the artist is a professional and he's spending way more time than i am but i'm still having a i'm having fun so i don't have to do all the details if i don't want to i made my bird house on a tree in a tree oh yes you I did think, i think it would look so much better in a tree honestly I was just going by the uh, the example. Whoa, that's a beautiful tree. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, tree houses should be in the tree house. It should be in a tree. A tree house or a bird house. I guess bird houses don't have to be in there. All right. I'm going to do one last one. So I guess this is mama bird, baby bird, papa bird. And whether it's that, it's at least big, medium, and small. So I started from small. Then I went to medium, now I'm gonna do big. So big circle into the neck with a big oval body, a big triangle for the beak, big eye, big mohawk, medium mohawk, small mohawk. I can't believe I had time to do this. Shark fin, knife blade, knife blade, feather tip, knife blade, feather tip, knife blade, feather tip. Wow. You've got I, a little less than one minute, Trevor. Oh, no. Wow. 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 Oh, no. You are on the countdown with 30 seconds. These are great. That papa bird okay. looks like it's angry. Yeah, it looks like he's yelling at somebody. He does. He's like, he's like, what are you doing over there? Very he's nice, like, Maddie. Don't be near my house. Oh, let me see if I try and make. Thank you. Try to make him happy. Maddie. As in the picture, like in your drawing, the papa bird looks angry. In the looks picture so in the book, it. He looks more gentle. These are great. Thank you so much. You guys, drawing drawing houses three dimensionally can be really not easy. So, and it takes courage to draw this. So, I'm really thankful that you guys tried. And even if you're not happy with your drawing, um, it's okay. 
we'll just draw another one. Excuse me. You don't me. ever have to be. Yeah. Question. Uh, it's eleven fifty one. Okay, let's roll. It's, we're gonna do. It's, the, it's we're time. gonna do this lion head. I really want to do the lion. Let me zoom out a little bit. All right, so really, we're not going to have time to do the whole lion head, but we're going to do lion shapes. Are you guys cool with lion shapes? Yes. Well done, Kate. Here's a, this lion, it might be my favorite lion photo. And I've been wanting to draw this for so long. So maybe next, we might have to come back to this next week, but we'll see. Okay. Wow. Isn't he so majestic? He's so majestic. Um, so I'm going to give you guys all the tricks in order to get like a good start on the lion. And the main thing about animals is that you got to get the um, eyes, nose and mouth looking correct. So let's detail. try to get, okay. let's try to get the distance between the eyes. Correct. These look great y'all. Um, and so, yeah, These are terrific. this is just going to, this is just going to be, a, this is just going to be a quick sketch. Uh, we're, the seven minutes is going to go by so fast, please. The last, um, I'm, I'm imploring that your parents, um, photograph these and send them to me because they're all so good. And even if you think, even yes. if you think they're not good, please send them over. Um, okay. So the main, the main part that we have to, oh, do you get it? The main, the main part? Lion <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, good. Sorry. Nice. I, 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 that was good. That's how you know it's going to be a good lesson when you have good puns. <clears throat> okay, so here's Kate, whatever you said, I think was probably hilarious, but you were sounded like a robot, so I couldn't tell what it was. <laughs> um, all right, so I, <laughs> the time is going by so fast. Um, the key to drawing people, the key to drawing animals when they're straight on is getting the distance of the eyes um, apart, like the right distance. And I, lion's eyes are really wide set. So regardless of whether you see what I'm seeing, I need you guys to try to draw this shape. It's called a trapezoid and it's wider at the top and it's <laughs> narrower at the bottom. It almost looks like a bar of gold or something. That's that's the shape that we're looking for. And that what that includes is basically the side of the eyes um, and then the beginning of the tear duct. And I'll show you what I mean. And then there's this crease, this line is like, he probably, he flexes his brow a lot because lions are very protective. So like he just shows that, that he's like, like stern and powerful and probably a little angry. So he's got this crease in the middle of his brow. So I'm gonna put that in there too. Okay, so now, um, now that we have this shape, we can use that shape to start to, to build all of the other, um, all the other features um, from it. So first thing we gotta do is do the eyes. So the bottom corner, here is going to be the tear duct and the tear duct is like you know it's it's where water drains and it's people think of tears as like emotional but really it's like if you get something in your eye like your tear duct reacts involuntarily and it starts flushing it starts adding a lot of water and it's basically flushing your eye out so the where the the um tears come out of this lion's eyes is at the bottom you know so like um it, it drains and then we're going to do like a rainbow arc on that side and this side we're going to do the tear duct we're going to do a rainbow arc this is the upper eyelid now the thing about humans eyes is usually humans eyes are side to side but lion's eyes angle and that's part of what makes them look really stern too so i did this rainbow arc now i'm going to make it look like an almond but the almond's going to be crooked upper eyelid and notice that I'm trying to get the left side and the right side done at the same time. So here's the almond shape. Yes, it's happening, it's happening. We got four minutes, there's four minutes. Maybe we'll just do lion's eyes, those lion eyes. Um, all right, so now inside the almond, um, the lion himself actually has really round um, irises 
So we're gonna draw circles inside of this. There's a circle, a big circle, almost like a big marble. And everything that's outside that marble is going to get colored in black. This is just a preview. So everyone's coming back next. Is everyone coming back next week? I think we'll have to. I think I'll, we'll 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 restart this next week. But yeah. we'll, we'll it's, it's okay. We the, um, we're going to at least get eyes, nose, and mouth. And I know we have three minutes left, and it doesn't seem like a lot, but we're going to do it. Okay. So inside of that, now I I don't know about big cats. Like, you know how the small cats, their pupils, um, they look like almonds too. They're not round. Humans' eyes are, the pupils are round, you know, that open and close and let the light in. Um, with cats, I think they are, you know, they look like this. They're like, you know, they're like almond shapes. That already looks like a cat to me. <clears throat> All right, so now this is what we have to do. We got to go um, follow the tears down almost be like a teardrop. Um, we're gonna follow the teardrop down and then it's gonna hit the wide part of the nose. It's gonna curve this way and this way. And you can, you know, the broad nose is like amazing. So it goes, the teardrop goes down, curves out, down, curves out. And then we're gonna get what I would call, it's a triangle, but it's a, it's, it's a curvy triangle. So I'll show you what I mean. We're gonna get the top of the nose here, which is gonna be round. And then we're gonna get the front of the nose this way. And a lot of times when I draw, when I've drawn this in the past, I've just drawn a triangle. And if you think it's easier to draw a triangle, you can just draw the triangle. Um, then we can detail, we can do all those details later. Um, the the nose is a triangle, and then just like humans, there's a little space in between the nose and the mouth. And then we're gonna have the nose, the mouth come off to the side. <clears throat> Last part that we have, because it's 10, 59, One I'm so sorry. That looks awesome. <laughs> nice. uh, these look so chin, and then we'll start again next week. Very nice, Brooks. Yeah, Brooks is crushing it. All right, yeah, and you guys, you could, I probably should have tried to sketch it really fast, but I didn't want to rush. We'll come back to this one and we'll Luke. make it, we'll make it real, real good. <laughs> Luke, look how fast. This is awesome, guys. It looks like you are in the zone. Please, um, you know, get out, keep, keep drawing. Just because class is over doesn't mean that you have to stop drawing. Um, and I think, and please, um, and hopefully your parents are around and hearing this, but um, photograph your work, um, keep all your work together. These drawings are really strong and you're gonna really like them. Uh, you're gonna to like to see them, you know, next year. You're gonna be, you're gonna be like, I'm so much better, you know, next year, but they're still, they're really awesome at the moment. Um, let's see. Thank you so much, Mr. Twist. Thank Luke, you, can thank I, can you. I, can we have a little, can we have a little, um, I'm gonna stop the share. Can we hold up some of these drawings so I can see them? Lou and Kate, I haven't seen you guys. I don't even know if you're really there. You're really there. Bye bye. Hey, Bye. see you. Man. It was great to Have see you. Good weekend. work today. Bye. 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 Hey, everyone. Yeah, these look Luke, awesome. Do you want to hold up that birdhouse again? Michaela, good work. Hey. Michaela, both Michaelas are great. Yeah, Brooks, what's up? Can I see? Ooh, Kate, I can actually see it. And how about your birdhouse, Luke? Luke, I feel like you're very much at home. Michaela, I'm going to pin you. Thank you so much, Luke. Thanks Everyone's so much, done Kayla. such a great job. Oh my it goodness, Michaela. Yeah, you did a whole composition. It's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yes, these are terrific. Asia, yeah, can I see yours? Kate, I love that. Is that your bedroom, Kate? Hi, Michaela. Yeah, Hi. it's terrific. Lassia, can I see one more? Kate, these are fantastic. Look at that yeah, whole space. these are great. Oh, I great. also have another one. Lassia, Lassia, I can you hold that? That sun is amazing. Look at all your birds. Look at all the rain. Well done. Very nice, Layla. 
Uh, Kate, please have your parents. Lastia, please um, photograph these and email them to me. They're all really, really strong. All right, y'all. I got to go. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.